hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time coming across this channel then you're highly welcome and to my returning subscribers i just want to say i love you guys thank you all for the love and support i appreciate you guys and we are growing massively i couldn't have done it without you guys so without wasting much time let's dive right in so today we're going to be talking about the power of touch like you know touch me i touch you do me i do you <laughs> the power of touch some of you don't know that touch is very powerful and what do i mean by touch simply means what you give and the way you receive back because you have to touch someone to feel something right and someone has to touch you for you to feel something right so touch is like a kind of communication like physical communication there are people that don't like saying things out like they don't use words to express themselves but they use touch to express themselves and remember touch means different things or touch can mean let me put it this way touch can mean different things to different people so do not you know read or misjudge someone all right because there are some touch that can mean intimacy and sometimes you might start thinking or feeling that this person is doing this because he wants to be in or she wants to be intimate 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 with me but it might not actually mean what you're thinking like let me let me use this for example think for example you have a crush and maybe the person doesn't feel the same way for you right but then you know that all you want is for that person to just come to you and be like i like you like i want you and then mistakenly let's say you're at a party and then you see your crush and then he has a, a cup of wine or sorry a glass of wine or you have a glass of wine and then you're giving out wine to people and then you give to your crush and then he mistakenly brushes your hands and then you start vibrating thinking that oh, maybe he likes me maybe she likes me it might not actually mean that they like you maybe they don't even know that they brushed your hands but because you're the one feeling something that touch alone can send the wrong signal or the right signal to you depending on if the person likes you so that's why i say touch is powerful because touch is like a is a form of communication and it means a lot of things for different people now let's kind of like um talk about how to use this like how to play this role of touch or use it in the bedroom now um when you want to get down with your partner i always say this don't be in a rush take your time to know what this person likes or what you're good at there are people that have um, different love language or intimate love language in the bedroom. There are people that words, words are their love language or their SEX language. While there are people that touch is their X, uh, SEX love language. Like no matter how you use those words, it can be pleasing to the ear and sweet to them. But if you don't touch them in the right places that they want, they won't have that zeal to get further with you. So you have to touch them, make them feel good and touch them in the right places, not just touching, touching, touching your head. Or you have to touch them in the right places for them to feel something, to do something with you. Right. So first of all, you have to know what your partner's love language or sex or SES language is. If it's touch, then you're good to go. If it's words, you're good to go. Just find out what their SES language is. OK, there are people that don't also like when you touch them, no matter how they love you but do not touch them they'll be like mm -mm, mm -mm, we're not doing that mm -mm, mm -mm, don't touch me don't touch me right so you have to know your partner's love language or should i say sex language now how do you use this in the bedroom first of all like i said when you get when you want to want to get down with your partner don't just rush and stop you know boom 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 first of all just try this kind of like don't say a word just communicate with touch you both should lie down stuck naked no panties no nothing you and your partner nothing now start to touch just close your eyes and touch touch from the head to the neck try to touch. like if imagine yourself being blindfolded and then they bring in that, like 10 guys or 10 women in front of you and they tell you to identify who your partner is with your eyes being blindfolded will you be able to recognize who your partner is 
That is the power of touch. If you have been able to touch every angle of your partner, even note the list of where their birth mark is, or if they have any mark, visible mark that you can feel on their body, there's no way you will not be able to be uh, there's no way you won't be able to identify your partner, even if you're blindfolded. So try to just close your eyes. Imagine that you're in another world, a world just you and your partner is. Close your eyes and start to touch. Touch every part of his body, every part of her body, like you're feeling their soul, like you're sucking in their soul. Close your eyes and do this. Don't just rush to, you know, have SEX with him just, or her. Just close your eyes, touch. And when you get to that pleasure point, the part that they love most, close with your eyes too close. Use your hand to touch and caress that whole part. Make them understand that. You are like me and I'm like you, okay? The way you touch me and I feel so great is how I'm touching you and I know you feel so great. That is the power of touch. Learn to touch every bit of them. Learn to know them even when they are blindfolded. It is going to make like, it's going to make you feel that this is like your better half. Like you, 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 you hold them so tight to your soul. You, you know every bit of them, every part of them. That is the power of touch. Not just touching like this, so I don't mean you should be aggressive or, you know. I mean, when you're touching, take it slowly to touch and feel. Even if you want to blindfold yourself, like you blindfold you and your partner, because sometimes you might be picking. So you can use um, um, a cloth to blindfold yourself and do it. But remember, do not wear anything. That is how powerful touch is. Touch is very, very important because it's like a form of communication. When you guys are communicating with a sign language, but this time you're using touch to communicate. All right. How do you, people that don't see, like blind people, how do they see? They, 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 their sense of smell is very, very high and they see with touching. They feel, right? When you feel something, they, are, they, they can't see, but when they touch, they can kind of like, maybe identify that this is an object this is a person this is this that is the power of touch that is why it's very very important and you can apply this in the bedroom it's going to bring you and your partner quite closer to yourself like you're going to learn each other more like hold each other so dear to the soul that is the power of touch and you can apply that in the bedroom do that and thank me later babies okay <laughs> So yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to talk about today. You can just touch your partner, feel every bit of them, like touch them from their head to the to their pleasure point. And when you get to their pleasure point, that is where you have to do the magic. You use your hands and touch, feel everything, do everything that you want to do to them. Just make them understand that you hold them so dear to their soul. And remember, it's a form of communication. Like we are communicating, but this time around with no words, but we touch. We are feeling each other. It's a physical kind of feeling because when you touch me, I feel that you touched me. And when I touch you, you feel that I touched you. That is the power of touch. Very important. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but it's just that I don't know why I haven't done it. But today I said that no, 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 I must do it today. And I'm happy that I did it. And I don't want this video to be long. That's why I'm trying to talk fast. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be ending this video here and I'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all right? Do make sure you try this with your partner. Touch them and make them feel good. It's going to hit differently when you do that. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.